Okay, so the next thing is we'll try to look at how to add shapes and play with shape properties in Microsoft Word. So to add any shape, all you need to do is to open your document and go to wherever you want to add it. For example, we may want to add some shapes over here. So you can just hit on enter to give a space. This is where we want to add a shape. So you can come all the way to the top ribbon over here. You can come straight to insert and then you can see shapes over here. Okay, so you just click on this small arrow and you can see a range of shapes. For example, you can start from the recently used. You can see most of them that I have used recently and you can see lines, different kind of lines. You can see rectangles, different kind of rectangles, basic shapes. You can bring in basic shapes if you want. And then you have the block arrows. Okay, so you can scroll down to see many more shapes like the mathematical equations, equation shapes, flow charts. You can do quite a lot with shapes in Microsoft Word. And then you can have these tab banners over here and you have the callouts as well if you want to use them for your content. So let's try to see how we can bring in some basic shapes. For example, if you want to bring in a rectangle, all you need is just to click and you can see your cursor changing. You just click and drag and you have the shape drawn. So one thing you should pay attention to is once you draw a shape, you can see the shape format over here enabled and you have a range of properties that you can play around with over here. So the basic ones is you can insert shape properties. For example, over here, you can change the shape to any shape. You can see you can still have access to the same gallery and you can edit the shape from here. You can click and you can change the shape also the same way or you can edit points. You just click on edit points and you're free to select any point and move it accordingly. Okay, so you can see you can select a point and you can play around with even the curvy nature of the shape. You can just select the edges and you can move them around according to what you are trying to create in terms of content. So you're free to edit the shape to anything. And then over here, you have the text box. You can draw a text box and you can draw vertical text box. This is normal text box. You can just draw and start typing text okay, inside. And then the second one is you can draw a vertical text. If you want you can just draw and you have a vertical text and you have vertical text written okay so this is it so you will have it in vertical form and you're free to rotate it to any shape of your choice you can make it horizontal and you can make it inclined to anything okay so this is basically how to bring in shapes and then there are other properties over here like the shape styles you can see you can just select a shape and based on the properties over here you can bring in different kind of theme styles you can have it to be colored like this or you can have it without color just the lines or you can have it with these presets you can add these presets to it or you can just basically have it with any color of your choice you can see you can play around with this and you can play around with the shape feel as well there are different coloration if you don't have any color that you like you can just come over and select any feel of your choice to make it fill to that color. And you have the option with more field options. You can select and define the kind of color you are targeting. You can move around in cases if you have the hex code also you can bring in and then you can see the different kind of uh, coloration. You can play around with different colors over here. You could just go ahead and play around with it and see what and what uh, color you are targeting and what fits your content directly so over here you just define a given color and you can see it has taken it very nicely and then over here you have the shape outline right now it has a normal outline uh, but before we go to the shape outline let's finish with the shape feel you have other features as well like the picture if you want to add a picture into this you can just easily click and you can add the picture from your computer you can just select a picture anywhere within the system and just add it okay so let me show you an example Let's say you want to add this picture, you can just click on insert and you can see it has inserted it completely and it looks quite nice. Over here, you can have gradient fields, okay? You can have field that is gradient in color. You just click and you can see it's gradient and you can as well have texture. If you want to add any texture of your choice, you can check and select and add textures and you can check out more textures from here and you have a range of properties to play around with. So anything at any given point from here, you can select the shape field and add any shape, any text from here. If you have any texture that you are targeting, you can easily add. And over here, you have the outline, okay? Outline of the shape. You can still select different outline. You can check the line weight. You can make it thicker, just like so, and you can make it thinner, or you can make it dashed line, uh, just like so, or you can make it a dashes. 
okay or stretched line okay or zigzag or any form you can make it full line and then zigzag uh, something like that all right you can see you can change the color okay you can play around with the coloration so it becomes uh, pretty much visible you can see it from here and you have this eraser and you have this this shape effect okay there are a range of effects that you can add for example the outer shadow the inner shadow you can see you can enable shadow in the shape you can see it just blows it to some extent and you have the 3d rotations you can rotate it depending on the kind of message you have you can rotate it to any shape okay and you can see you can just go ahead to kind of play around with it according to your message okay so one thing you should also pay attention to once we are on the picture format or you double click on the picture you will have the format picture over here okay if you have picture format you can format picture over here or alternatively if you double click on any shape that you've added you can see the format picture over here enabled and over, over here you have the option to add the transparency the shadows and the blurry nature of the shape okay you can check out reflection you can check out the glow effect and many many more soft edges 2d 3d formats you can play around with all these and give your shape a very good look okay so right now you can go ahead and insert any shape of your choice again and see what you can do with it for circles usually when you draw it's not going to give you a perfect circle you have to hold down the shift key then it's going to give you a perfect circle okay you have to hold down the shift key on your computer then it's going to give you a perfect circle so once you draw you can have the shape format properties over here or you can have it also on the side menu over here so you have all those features that we've talked about the format shape properties the transparency the size you can play around with the size and you have the blurry nature you can distance and reflections and all this the glow nature okay you have the 3d effect properties and you can check anything from here okay the material nature the lighting and the 3d formats what kind of shapes do you want and you can play around with the width and height over here from here also there's so much to actually experience you can play around with the positions and other features from here all right so right now over here you have the fill features you can check out the fill you can say no fill or you can give it a gradient feel or you can give it a pattern you have a given pattern you are targeting you can easily select a pattern and define your shape with that particular pattern depending on your message you can see the foreground color you can change the color to anything and you can see it is changing uh, accordingly according to your color and then you can change the background color as well you can change it to any color of your choice and you can see it is becoming much more beautiful this is a solid line you can make it a gradient line and they are about and you play around with other features as well all right you can have the basic coloration you can play around with it and in each case you'll be able to see the preview over here okay so you have the cap type the joint type you have quite a lot of things to play around with over here so this is fill and then this is the line properties you have also the type of line what do you want to do with the line what kind of line do you want do you want a linear line you want a rectangular line a path you can easily define it as a path and then you can define the coloration the direction and the gradient type okay what kind of gradient are you targeting and the transparency you want it to be transparent or fully opaque you have the brightness you can play around with the brightness and so on and these are just for the line properties uh, you want it to be dashed line or they are about we've just talked about zigzag lines or any type of line that you are targeting you can see as you change it it is also changing on the shapes so you can do quite a lot with shapes you can draw different kind of flow charts in cases where you want to draw a flow chart for example over here you can just come all the way to insert let's draw a simple flow chart come to shapes and maybe you start with a start icon okay let's come to basic shapes and let's select this and draw a start over here so let's say you can make it a start and then you can just make it a text so you make it a text you just double click or you can right click and say add text and you can say insert or you can say you can call it start like the normal flow chart we used to have you can adjust by selecting here and you can just adjust very nicely okay you can have it start and then you can have an arrow and just click and have an arrow that moves to the next action for example it moves to the next action you have different kind of line properties what kind of line you're targeting what kind of color what kind of thickness what are, what are you going to use a preset or something like that so you can move to this and then you have other shapes as well to choose from 
for example you can come over here and have this decision point all right so you can move it all right so let's say we have this decision point you can move this and then you can double click on it also to bring in the properties and you can make it without color and so you can also add text true for example if it is true if this action is true then you do something okay so you can see from here and then maybe if it is true you have another arrow that moves from there maybe around here say if this is yes it moves here and if it is no it moves down here so you have another feature for example we can have something like this and we can define it okay and say something like just right click and say add text and we say calculate y and maybe we can duplicate this we can copy and paste and then we can move it here and say we can say calculate x and then in each case maybe after y after x you can move also to another place you can copy and paste this and then you can move it around you can give another instruction for example you can copy and paste this and then you can move it down here and give it another command for example you can say find y even though we can try to bring it up because it is uh, going towards the end and we can select everything all the text you can just select hold down the shift key and select every other thing okay select them select the different features select and then we can try to move them around okay you can see oh we didn't select this one you can select this one as well and then you can try to move all of them at once and you can right click and group them okay so you can group and then once you click out You'll be able to move them together at once okay you can drag and move them around accordingly and you can copy and paste or you can cut and paste them somewhere that you like maybe within this document you want to paste it here you can just do ctrl v and you can paste it over here and one thing you should pay attention to is the arrangement you can come over here once you paste this you can just go ahead and change the different kind of keep source formatting and it's keep the source formatting and you can get enough space now it is one item so you can drag or you can come to the edges over here and make it a bit smaller depending okay depending on the message and you can just easily move it select and then move it up a little bit and you can still cover a little bit if you want individually you can select them or you can ungroup and then you can play around with them easily Okay, you can select and then try to play around with the different features. You can move them a little bit to give some space or some adjustments, just like so. And you're free to do virtually anything. You can increase or decrease the sizes. You're free to adjust. If you want to uh, make this perfectly horizontal, you can just double click on it and then you can come to the line alignment over here, the vertical. The height should be made zero over here, zero centimeters, and it's going to be made vertical. So you can just hit a zero and you can see it's perfectly vertical so you can just move it down a little bit so this is how to basically play around with the shapes and at any given point make your own flow chart okay you can make this flow chart and you can continue to make it depending on the message for example here and then you can have another arrow copy and paste and then you can move it here and maybe you can just drag it over here and then drag this one over here to create an end box so copy and paste or let's say you copy this copy and paste and then you drag it down here to make it end okay so you have a start and you have an end for this one to be perfectly horizontal you select it and come over here and make it zero and now it's perfectly horizontal so you can see this is basically how to use shapes in microsoft word you're free to play around with different shapes and their properties over here you can edit the shape properties and you can edit the line properties as well you can insert any kind of shape you want and you can play around with it as you so wish okay if it is line normal line or the free line you can easily use you can easily draw okay this is called line see it and you have the property to move it to carotate it to any point and if it is the 
can it's have different kind of lines so example this one can freely design freely write anything and it's counted as a shape also and then you can do it whatever you want with it uh, having these properties or the shape format properties as well so feel free to explore feel free to give it a try and the last thing i want to show us is the fact that you can export any shape as a shape or as an image you can just right click and you can do other things from here you can play around with the position you can send forward backward or you can save it as a picture okay so you can save it as a picture you just right click and then you save it as a png define the position and you can see you just saved it over here in this picture and it's saved as a picture so when you go to your pictures so you can see it here as a picture saved already okay so ladies and gentlemen this is just a bit about how to add shapes in microsoft word and play around with their very basic properties for editing and to enhance your content and make it accordingly if you enjoyed this video please remember to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to always hit the like and subscribe buttons to stay connected to this channel for more videos like this i'll see you in my next video